Hello everybody. Once again, I am here with you for the another part of this um, unit that is called to be thermometry. And uh, today we will see what is the platinum thermometer, uh, platinum resistance thermometer, and how it is going to be constructed to find out the resistance and the temperature relationship is to be there. So no doubt we have already seen the types of the thermometers and in which the one of the <coughs> platinum resistance thermometers are to be there which are based with the uh, resistance variation uh, with respect to the temperature is to be there and that type of the thermometers are called to be as an resistance thermometer or platinum resistance thermometers are to be there. So first of all the platinum resistance why there is to be platinum is going to be used because for the higher temperature the we need uh, such type of the material which can sustain for sustain for the higher temperature so the platinum will uh, sustain uh, for the higher temperature and uh, the whatever be the resistance variation it will show uh, with respect to the uh, temperature variation and the platinum resistance thermometer consists of definitely pure platinum wire wounded on the both the double uh, uh, wounded on the wire in the double spiral <coughs> to avoid the inductive uh, uh, inductive effects the wire would be uh, uh, wound on the mica plate that is to be there and the two ends of the platinum wire are connected to the basically copper leads are going to be used uh, many times the copper leads are supposed to be for the lower temperature but for the again for the it is uh, connected to the binding term uh, terminals are to be there called to be as an b1 b2 for the higher temperature the uh, c1 c2 may be used as an with the platinum resistance or basically it is called as a for the higher temperature the leads are of uh, platinum and they are called as a C1, C2. Uh, here it is to be there and this is what the C1, C2s are going to be used. Again the platinum wire and the leads are enclosed in uh, <coughs> uh, basically uh, percolation, uh, basically the uh, glazed uh, proclaimed tube and uh, which is to be like this uh, means this is what the leads are to be b1 b2 uh, these are the b1 b2 uh, are to be there and it, there is such type of the tube will be there and in which this uh, <coughs> glass, uh, uh, glass uh, proclaimed uh, tube is to be there which is to be uh, containing the liquid and here it is to be uh, such type of the arrangement is to be there the tube is uh, scaled uh, and the binding terminals uh, are to be provided at the top no doubt for the binding the terminals are provided at the top and the leads passes through the mica which offers the best uh, insulation and uh, <coughs> also prevent convection currents are to be there so this all type of the arrangement is in the proclaimed tube is to be arranged and according to that for the higher temperature the platinum leads are going to be used and for the lower temperature the copper is going to be used but mostly the for the higher temperature according to that uh, the platinum is to be useful for the higher temperature so the resistance of the wire at the one degree centigrade it is called to be as an rt this is to be the case and where for the zero degree centigrade it is the, the sorry the temperature will be uh, r zero will be there so this is what the arrangement and uh, basically considering these things these uh, resistance are connected by the relation uh, and that relationship is nothing but to be given this one election uh, relation number one is very important to understand and uh, this uh, relationship uh, so here is the that relation that is to be uh, r t is equal to uh, r 0 into 1 plus alpha t plus uh, beta t square is to be there this is what the equation number one which is very important 
and where this uh, alpha and the beta are the constants to find these values the resistance of the platinum wire is determined at uh, uh, these fixed points that is the melting point of the ice uh, the first one is to be the melting point of the ice boiling point of the water and the boiling point of the sulfur is to be there that is 444.6 is to be there and uh, for the high temperature and the uh, again uh, uh, basically the another factor that is the 444.6 degree centigrade for the sulfur for the higher temperature and the boiling point uh, of the oxygen uh, are calculated at uh, minus 182.5 degree centigrade for the lower temperature and uh, again for these uh, using these uh, relations or the values we have the equation number one as like this and uh, this is somehow given in this fashion that is r100 is equal to r0 into 1 plus uh, alpha 100 plus uh, beta 100 square is to be there and uh, this is for the 100 degree centigrade this is equation number two as for the theory for the sulfur it is r444.6 is equal to r0 into 1 plus alpha 444.6 plus beta into 444.6 square is to be there this is equation number 3 is to be there so <coughs> alpha and beta the values of alpha and beta can be determined by solving the equation 2 and the 3 and uh, from equation 1 as uh, we are aware about that this uh, rt is equal to r0 into 1 plus alpha t plus beta t square uh, as the beta <coughs> into t square uh, is going to be neglected because of uh, uh, beta is to be very small and uh, anything into small values will give you negligible value and uh, that's why we neglected that beta t square and now we have the equation number one remaining as it is uh, to be as an rt is equal to r0 into 1 plus uh, alpha t and uh, in this case uh, this equation can also be written in this fashion that is r100 is equal to r0 into 1 plus uh, alpha 100 is to be there and uh, if we comparing these two relations uh, we have the new relation that is uh, r1 minus r0 uh, if we do in this fashion the previous one it is to be r0 related r0 uh, r1 minus r0 is equal to r0 alpha t and uh, r100 minus r0 is equal to r0 alpha 100 is to be there so this is what suppose uh, we are multiplying with the r0 plus uh, r0 alpha 100 and uh, if uh, we are multiplying with the rt is equal to r0 plus r0 alpha t is to be there with these two relations we can write this uh, rt minus 1 r0 is going to be here in this case because it is multiplied once it is going to be multiplied it will become to be as an ether rt is equal to r0 plus r0 alpha t yate, and r 100 is equal to r0 plus r0 alpha 100 when you r0 is left side la there rt minus r0 and it is r0 is r0 r 100 minus r0 so according to that the new relations we have uh, that is r1 rt minus r0 that is rt minus r0 is equal to r0 alpha t and uh, r100 minus r0 is equal to r0 alpha 100 is to be there so this is equation number 5 and this is equation number 6 now dividing 5 by 6 among several several are here he need divide killer the several several equation will they r t minus r0 divided by r100 minus r0 is equal to r0 alpha t divided by r0 alpha 100 and it's a chamade r0 alpha and r0 alpha zar gele tar t by 100 he relationship urte so the we have the relationship then r t minus r 0 upon uh, r 100 minus r 0 is equal to t by 100 is to be there and uh, then according to this we can find out the t is equal to finally 
we have the relationship that is t is equal to uh, r t minus r0 upon r100 minus r0 into 100 is to be there hence the resistance of the platinum wire is going to be found so this is what the simple way to find out the resistance of the platinum wire and we can use the platinum resistance thermometer to measure the temperature for the higher values so this is what the simple way to understand the platinum resistance thermometer thank you for the joining this session again in this pandemic situation be at home and be safe